What up, YouTube friends and probably future Ryan, and welcome to another episode of Hot Cup of Clark. <sighs> also, I made a title sequence now, so that's really cool. Hopefully it played right just before this. If not, there's just an awkward pause, and that's kind of awkwardly paused. So... It worked out a little bit last time, but I decided to make a list of what I'm going to be talking about during this episode. That way, I don't, like, run out of ideas or go too far off the rails. But I guess the first thing I want to talk about is that intro that you guys hopefully saw and is only, like, three-ish seconds long. Uh, it's not fancy at all. Um, took me a solid, like, two hours still to do because... I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, I started using a new program to kind of edit my videos and kind of make videos and render them and all that good stuff called Sony Vegas Pro 14. Anyway, I got it from the Humble Bundle for like $20 along with a bunch of other stuff like Music Maker and like a photo story thing. I don't know what the rest of the stuff is. I mostly got it for the video editing software for like $20 for like something that normally costs like a couple hundred. So. Hey, so it's super nice and all that good stuff, but at the same time, it's kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing at all. All I really know is how to, like, clip videos, because I delete a little bit at the end and delete a little bit at the beginning and that kind of stuff, but now I'm about to, like, mix it up a bit and throw that little, like, intro in there and just, like, I don't know if I'm going to keep it the same. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty simple and just kind of, like, it's me chugging a drink from like a couple episodes ago shows episodes I guess they're episodes but I, I just kind of like use that sound effect like that sounds like something you do out of a cup and hot cup of Clark it is my brother told me I should make the cup on fire because it's a hot cup and I think that's too much work for me to do like just having that plain checkered background I feel like is enough I feel like I should have done something like cooler or whatnot but Oh well, it's an intro. It'll work for now, for at least like these next ten ish, till I get back to Lubbock ish, maybe for a couple months ish amount of time. So that's the first step towards professionalism. Apparently, outros are also a thing, and I guess I'll do that as well. I guess that's gonna be like me, like, oh, you can see my last episode at this link here. And you can see my next episode at the link up here. I don't know how I'm going to do that. And then you can always smash this subscribe button down here. But that's a lot more work and more YouTube knowledge than I know. Because right now all I know how to do is upload videos. And woo. so I'll find out maybe how to do that in the distant future. And have like my little intros and outros. And no, I could probably just make one outro that says like all the stuff I say at the end. Huh. Maybe I'll do that. I'll make that a thing. But anyway, on to what I did today. I mostly learned how to make an intro. That took up a big chunk of the day. I woke up at noon, the crack of noon, started doing things around 1 o'clock when I finally like roll out of bed and stop playing on my phone. And I was like, all right, today seems like a great day to learn how to make that intro. I realize a lot of videos don't necessarily have intros or like they're really so like my one problem is it really bugs me when videos have like dubstep Skrillexy sounding like music playing in their intros. It's stupid and dumb and I don't like it. I don't know who likes it. Well I guess people who like dubstep like it, but other than those people, they're disgusting and I hate it. But mine is beautiful, it's a thing of beauty. But anyway. Also, today was like a laundry day, so did laundry, worked on that intro, and then around 6 o'clock, I had the most, like, disappointing meal of my whole life. Uh, so, Double Dave's is a pizza place just down the street from my house, and they have a dinner buffet, and I had a coupon for it, so I was like, well, this combines, like, my two favorite foods, pizza and buffets, so... Um, I figured it couldn't be bad at all, because Double Dave's pizza isn't even that bad, either. Uh, so I went there for the buffet all by myself, um, peak human performance there, using a coupon at an all-you-can-eat pizza buffet all by yourself. So that's, that was me a couple hours ago, um, and the buffet sucked. Like, I, I, like, I was actually disappointed. I, like, I had these high hopes 
So, like, mostly it's just me eating cheese pizza with um, French dressing because there's this one dressing that had at a pizza place way back from my childhood that had this, like, red sauce. It's, like, French dressing but, like, sweeter and tangier and darker, and I love it. And I don't know why being there reminded me, like, oh, yeah, you can dip pizza in salad dressing. It might have been the fact that, like, I saw it at, like, Walmart a couple days ago or something like that. It's, like, Catalonia sauce or I don't think it's Catalonia. What is it? It's something with a C sound, and it's at the beginning, and it's a red sauce, and it's the best thing ever for pizza or salad. But they had, and I, like, realized it's, like, just a cousin of ranch dressing. So I figured, like, okay, I'll just dump this on my pizza. I could only eat cheese pizza because I never put out another vegetarian pizza. So I was, like, one one tier there. But they had, like, 20 barbecue chicken pizzas. So I was just kind of, like, this is stupid. Uh, but the one, like, the one redeeming thing they had there, they had, of course, dessert pizza, which is, like, the another great part of life is dessert pizza. So... At least they're competing on CCs with that. So they both had like the classic like cinnamon, the apple-y um, dessert pizza. But the one thing that Double Dave's did do really awesome, they have a cookie dough flavored dessert pizza, and that blew my mind. I was just like, wow, everything I love about raw cookie dough, but now on a pizza slice. And that was the one redeeming factor of that buffet was the cookie dough dessert pizza. And I guess also they had olives at the salad bar, so I was just kind of like, Boom, I'm just going to have olives and croutons and call that a salad. But, yeah, Double Dave's Pizza Buffet, like, one tier out of three. So, 33% tier. Um, kind of a disappointment, but you live and learn. So, now it's strictly sticking to CeCe's and their macaroni and cheese pizza, which is one of the greatest inventions of mankind. That is, like... Humanity took one step up the day that macaroni and cheese pizza was made. But yeah, that's about it for today's adventures. I also, so when you're a bored, lonely man at a pizza buffet, all you gotta do is play on your phone. You don't have to talk to people or, I don't know, staring at people there would be kind of weird because there's like families and whatnot. So I, I, I was eating alone at like a family pizzeria, but that's that's beyond the fact. So I was looking at my phone and I found out there's a lot of concerts going on while I'm here, so I think uh, there's a concert tomorrow by the Sufferers. I think that's who they are, and um, they're like the Great Valley brand Alabama Shakes. They're a little bit jazzier, so I'm debating between them and Neon Indian, which I pretty much already decided I'm going to go see Neon Indian on the 30th instead because I've been listening to his album and I just feel like his show is going to be a lot more groovier. Like, I kind of like the idea of seeing, like, a bigger band and, like, not a fan of, like, performances from, like, electric artists. But, like, still, Neon Indian is going to be dope. It's going to be great. So I'm probably going to go see that in a couple days. And if I do, I'll tell you guys all about it. Probably on the day after because I won't be able to make an episode that night because I'll be fighting through traffic the night before. It's on the 30th, so it isn't quite New Year's Eve, so I don't have to, like... Or is 30th New Year's Eve? Sorry, I don't know about calendars and whatnot. Because last year, I was trapped downtown on New Year's Eve because I went to some party. Not last year, but a couple years before, I went to a party downtown. And flying through downtown San Antonio traffic on New Year's Eve was the worst thing ever, and I never want to do it again. So if I go downtown this year, I'm going to be sure to have a friend drive me. That way I can, like, really party hard and not have to drive through a crowd of people. So... If that does happen, New Year's Eve will be kind of dope. Um, was it REO Speedwagon and, like, Pent Benatar playing downtown, which is always a cool thing to see, like, live music and whatnot and the fireworks and all that good jazz. But at the same time, I'm like, I just want to hang out with my friends and wish them a happy New Year's and all Lang Syne and all that great stuff. But backstepping a little bit back to Neon India, and the Paper Tiger's a pretty dope venue, and Neon India is going to be there, and a bunch of other people are going to be there in the next couple of months. But I'm going to be in Lubbock, so that sucks. But this summer, I'll hopefully be in Austin, and that way I can go see tons of artists because everyone plays in Austin. So hopefully it'll be a, a summer full of music. Um, so other things I've been doing lately has been like debating on buying games. So 
I'm like a big fan of my computer and computer parts and technology and whatnot. So I kind of want to get this uh, 3D Mark benchmarking software for my computer. I know there's plenty of like free ones and whatnot, but I feel like 3D Mark is a little bit cooler because it's a it's one a lot of people use to like kind of benchmark stuff that and like Cinebench, and I don't I've never seen Cinebench on sale personally. So 3D Mark might be the way to go, and I'll just kind of like use that to kind of see how crappy my computers are or how like slightly above average they are because I don't have the kind of like budget where I can just like yeah I'll throw these hundreds on my computer and like make it kick butt and whatnot but looking forward so I'm either gonna buy that now I'm probably gonna buy that and also the humble bundle monthly so the humble bundle monthly this month has like I said dawn of war quantum break and the one I wanted the long dark and that's just like twelve dollars but it's like a subscription thing and I'm always kind of like iffyish because I suck at canceling subscriptions before I have to pay the next month, and I don't want to necessarily drop another twelve dollars on a couple of games that I may or may not want, like without like, you know, thinking about it for forty-eight hours like I'm doing right now. But I think I'm probably gonna end up buying like the benchmarking software because it's only five dollars, and then the humble bundle, so like, more games to goof off with and play with. And that's especially gonna be helpful once I go back to school because training's boring and I'm probably gonna do nothing for like five days up there so might as well get some video gaming in and then I guess also I didn't get to go to the library today because those books I like ordered to like be picked up at my library still aren't there yet so that's a bummer I'm gonna wait like a couple more days I still have my stack of CDs sitting over there and whatnot but I'm like ready to listen to some more music I'm like really pumped for the music that's about to come in and it's still, like, in transit for the past, like, three or four days. Well, okay, it makes sense it was in transit during, like, Christmas and Christmas Eve because I know they weren't working those days because Christmas and Christmas Eve. But, like, it's Wednesday, and or it was Wednesday, and they should have been here by now. But hopefully they're in before Friday. That way I can have, like, a new batch of music to listen to during the weekend. But if not... Like a, a huge shrug and just like, oh no, I want to listen to some more music. Um, I don't know. I kind of burned through those albums pretty fast. Actually, right now I am also listening to a bunch of samples. So like Polyvinyl, Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. I kind of like was raised around that area. And I'm like on their website right now over here looking at all their new samplers. So every so often they'll jump, uh, drop a pretty dope sampler of like a bunch of bands I'm like a fan of so like I love of Montreal and Jason and um, they have a bunch of other good bands on their like roster and their samplers are great because it's free music and how can you hate free music Spirit Goth also has a pretty dope one um, but it's mostly because White Reaper I was like where can I get some White Reaper music for free and Polyvinyl Sampler and um uh, Spirit Goth both had them on their roster, so I was like, dope, this is awesome. And I really wish I knew a couple more record labels that did these samplers of music that I'm a really big fan of because it's an awesome way to get, like, my taste widened other than Tinder. Like, I'm still trying to find out, like, what's the best way just to, like, with minimal message sending to get better recommendations for music from there, but that's whatever. I'm going to probably be hunting down samplers for the next couple days burn through polyvinyls samplers because I already have like half of them I just kind of like realize there's some that are called not PV digest but stuff like happy 20 year anniversary polyvinyl here's 20 free songs playlist mixtape sampler but yeah um hopefully new music's gonna be coming my way I always like listening to music it's always playing in my room because it's a decoration of sorts I don't know but anyway Go ahead and do those YouTube things, like always. Hit that like button, because it feels good to be liked. I think the like button's more over here. Uh, leave a comment. Be nice. Be positive. Build up my self-esteem. And if you love hearing me ramble on and on, and you think, like, man, there's already plenty of videos, and I hope there's plenty more ahead, hit that subscribe button. Be a true fan, and all that great stuff. And as always, thanks for stopping by.